I'm Phil Husted. I'm a senior research scientist at Dow Electronic Materials in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Catalysts for olefin polymerization were discovered in the 1950s. Very similar systems are still used today to make billions of pounds of polymer. In the 90s, Dow invented some uh, really elegant molecular catalysts that gave you the ability to tune the structure and activity of these catalysts in a, a way that was never before possible. So in polyethylene, a lot of the materials are copolymers of ethylene and, and alpha olefin. So a homopolymer of, of ethylene on its own is a very rigid, uh, hard material. A copolymer of ethylene and octene is a very soft, amorphous, rubbery material. In a single reactor, you can have a combined pool of ethylene and the uh, alpha olefin to give you very different types of materials, from a really rigid plastic like a milk jug to something very soft and flexible like the soft touch grip under your toothbrush. Probably most of what we think of as a plastic is made of polyethylene or polypropylene. I did very similar work in graduate school. I worked for Jeff Coates at Cornell and we developed a system to make block copolymers from simple olefins with a, a new sophisticated living catalyst. A lot of professors doing organometallic chemistry will make molecules just for the sake of making that molecule. But Jeff always had a focus on the practical applications of the catalyst. We wanted to make a molecule, but that wasn't the end game. The end game was to make a molecule that would then create a polymer that had never been, been made before. My advice for someone starting an industrial career would be to get out of your comfort zone. Perhaps the most important thing I did was learn a lot about material science and the application side of the work, because at the end of the day, we have to sell a product. I'm a synthetic chemist. I know how to make materials, but I don't necessarily know what to make. So I formed partnerships with people in the material science division and on the application side very early in my career. Now the thing I love about what I do is that I interact directly with our end-use customers. I work with them to figure out what they need out of the material and then I go and figure out how to translate that back to the product we put in the bottle. If you like this video, please share it and let us know what you think using hashtag whatchemistsdo.